Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at something on QGIS today. We are going to show you how you can actually create insets or how you can actually create or design inset maps. You know, inset simply just them. Um, it's simply just them um, attaching um, a smaller portion to a larger portion. If I'm not actually making a mistake. So let's say you have um, a larger portion of um, this um, river state um, boundary, and you're trying to insert or let's say yeah, insert um, this other asaga, which is actually a local government in the state, into the map. So for you to be able to do that, that's what we are going to show to you today. You can actually apply it also on um, creating your study area maps. So let's say you have um, your country boundary, you have the state boundary, then you have your maybe your local government and maybe the project area. You know, trying to have all of those maps. I think we just mentioned four maps, right? Good. Now trying to have all of those maps in a single map or all of those um, yeah, all of those maps in a single map. That's actually what the insert map. Or let's say you carried out an um, analysis and then um, you want to display the results of your analysis separately you know you can actually still use what the idea of what insert map right good so or let's say we have um, this um, state boundary and then you worked on a particular area or maybe some part of the data you are working on actually fell on a particular area so you haven't validated that yes the data is within that area you can still decide to zoom into that area then attach that area as a separate map, you know, like calling it out from the old map that yes, this is like a bigger or let's say magnified um, map of that um, smaller area. So the applications are actually enormous. So depending on what you want to use it for, you can actually follow through and then get the best out of it. So thanks for coming to class. If you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for always um, checking up on us. The first thing is that we actually need to create what a new print layout, right? Good. Because most of those other, or most of, or if not all of what we want to do, is actually what on the print layout. So we go to what project, and then we now select what a um, new print layout, or we can still use the shortcut, which is a um, control P, right? Good. Now control P gives us what a um, print, um, print layout um, window. So let's just call this a um, Insert right with this insert and we click on OK. Good, so we have um, the print layout out, and depending on the paper size or maybe the page size rather than the page properties you've actually set. The first thing now is now for you to add items. Now, before you add the items, let's get back to the map canvas. The first item we want to add is actually what the state boundary, right? Good, that's this. So you try to put off the local government boundary since you don't want it now and since you don't want it inside of the state boundary you want it separately so that you can maybe indicate that yes this is actually the, the local government boundary from what from the state boundary right good so you go back to your print layout then you click on add items then you see what add map right but then you draw a box where you want the map to be displayed good did we keep it on oh we still left it on sorry for that now let's go back to good so we just uh, refresh so that it goes off good so we have what the state boundary all right now you can perform any other um, modification maybe the scale if it's too small you can just um, try to increase it so depending on how you want to um, update the scale to fit into the box you can actually what you can actually um update the scale to that um, particular point right now this is the first map the next thing you are going to do is to actually what lock the layers and then also lock the styles for layers now the essence of doing this is to ensure that the next map you're trying to bring in does not actually alter or whatever you have saved here it's not been affected by the next map you're trying to bring in or any other style properties you are going to set right good 
so you can still go ahead to add and print good so this is just a simple design right good so you can still decide to um, add your not arrow somewhere if you want to just um, place it somewhere there if possible right then try to take it up a bit good so since we have what the state boundary we have actually locked the layers and the styles for the layers right good we can now go back to our map canvas try to put off what the, the state boundary and then try to what um, zoom into the local government boundary right good then we go back to the print layout we go to add items and then we still select what add map right good so we have what the local government and boundary here yeah. are we together good now upon having this you can now decide to do the same thing you've done for the what for the for the state boundary by actually creating some um, or adding or attaching some map elements attaching some map elements towards to the local government boundary as well right good so this is actually how you create inset maps so with this you can still add some more here yeah, depending on what you want so let's just um, randomly add some more maps so if you have other maps you want to add you can still be adding them on what on the print layout for them um, this is not what we are trying to do because we just have to we are trying to show you that it's not just two you can add as many as you can add then you can still decide to what um adjust or let's say edit them by creating the different um, or by attaching different what map elements to them right good so this is how you do it this is how you design what um inset maps right good and then um, always remember to lock your um, layers and then the styles for the layers because it ensures that um, other maps you are adding or maybe other maps in your map canvas here when you are trying to add them to the print layout does not um, alter what you've actually modified on the map you have on the what's on the print layout right good so if you have any question contribution or comments you can actually leave it on the comment section or send us what a message on any of our social media platforms or via our email and we are going to get back to you as soon as possible and if you need um, assistance on something like this you can always what contact us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can so thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided a solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and have a very good time bye